In today's note, we're going to be looking at parallel lines. So the first thing we want to do is determine whether the slope of a line is positive, negative, or zero. So looking at my equations, again, I want to remember that the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b, with m being the slope and b being the y-intercept. If I look at these equations, I see that my slope in this case is positive 3, so that means my slope is a positive. In B, again, the number attached to the x is negative 1 over 4, so that means my slope is negative because that m value is negative. For C, even though that it's, it's rearranged or in a different order, I'm still looking at the value in front of x, in this case negative 2. So that means my slope is negative. In D, I don't see any slope here. I don't see an m value. And the reason I don't see an m value is because there is no x variable. So the only value that could be attached to the x, which makes it disappear when you're multiplying, would be 0. So that means if I don't see an x value or the x variable, that means my slope had to be 0. In E, again, looking at the value in front of x, one, or one tenth is a positive fraction. Even though it's a fraction, it's still positive, so that means my slope is positive. For F, again, rearranged, it's a decimal slope. Either way, though, my slope is still positive. If the slope is positive, then that means that the line slants up from left to right, so it'll look something like this. If the slope is negative, then the line slants down from left to right, so it looks something like this. And if the slope is zero, that means that the line is horizontal or flat, so it looks something like this. And we, if we recall from grade 9, the slopes of parallel lines are the same. Or you could say equal. So what that means is, again, parallel lines are lines that never touch or never intersect. And if they never intersect, that means they have to have the same slope. So in example two, we're going to look at two sets of lines, and we're going to try to determine if those lines are parallel or not. So looking at the first set, y equals 4x minus 6 and y equals 4x plus 3, I need to look at the slopes. In this case, again, the values in front of the x, so 4 and 4. So here the slopes are the same, or they're equal, which means that they are parallel. If I look at example B, I see my slope is 1 half, and my other slope is negative 1 half. The slopes are not equal, which means they are not parallel. In example C, instead of given two equations, I have two line or tables of values. So I have line 1 and I have line 2. What I need to do here is I need to determine my rise, or I need to determine the slopes. In order to do that, I need to plot these points on a graph. So on my graph, I'm going to plot line 1. Again, remember a point is just the coordinates of x and y. So at 1 and negative 2, there's a point. At 2 and negative 4, at 3 and negative 6, negative 8, negative 10, I'm going to draw a straight line through these points as best I can. So there is my first line. My second line, same idea. I'm going to plot the points. So negative 2, 7, negative 1 and 5, 0 and 3, 1 and 1, 
2 and negative 1. I'm going to take these points, connect them with a line. So this is line 2. Now I need to determine my slopes. So I need to determine the slope for line 1 and the slope, use a different color, the slope for line 2. Again, remember slope is rise over run. And once I figure out the slope, then I can determine whether they are parallel or not. So for line 1, I'm just going to pick two points. I'm going to pick the first and last point. So going from one point down to the next, so that my rise is going to be negative, it will be negative 8. And my run will be positive 4, so negative 8 over 4 is negative 2. If I do the same thing for my other point, for my other line, in this case it's easier to go do the run first, so the run is 4, the rise is negative 8, so negative 8 over 4, which I can reduce to negative 2. So looking at these two lines, I see that the slopes are identical, so slopes are equal. So therefore, I have, or they are parallel. So again, the key thing from this note is being able to identify parallel lines by looking at the slopes and checking to see if they are the exact same value or not.